Hallo und willkommen zurück zu The Mailbox. Mein Name ist Lumen und es ist Zeit. Es ist Hochzeit. <lacht> Hochzeit. <lacht> Unsere habt einen Paket von Deutschland. Und es ist sehr schön. Sehr, sehr schön. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying. So we got a package from Germany, as I think I just said. And it's pretty amazing. This was sent. And I'll get to who sent it in just a moment. But it was sent as sort of like a wedding gift to myself, Helene. And Nero Puppy. So what I'm gonna do before I show off any of the items here, I'm gonna read the letter. It's a pretty long one. That's a whole lot of words. And there are even more on this page over here. That's upside down. So let's get started. <clears throat> Dear Swen, Helene, and Nero Puppy. As you are planning on moving to Germany, I put together some kind of preparation package. Well, The content may be a bit locally influenced by where I live, but I think Cologne, or Cologne, I think that's how you pronounce it. I struggle a lot with that. I just know that the Germans call it Cologne. So it's like a K with a little O and a dots on LN. Kind of easier to say it like that. Would be a great place for you too. So I've heard you like licorice. Man, did you hear right? Round about 30 kilometers from Köln is Bonn, the former capital of West Germany and also the hometown of Hans Richter. You probably, uh, you probably know the company he founded, Haribo. Oh, I do. And I didn't know that Haribo was derived from Hans Richter Bonn. I had no idea. Haribo. It's genius. And it's such a nice word. It flows. The one with the gummy bears. Another of their specialities is the Bonner Gold. Gold from Bonn, usually called licorice. Please share with Helene. So... <sighs> tragedy struck this weekend and we destroyed the licorice. <laughs> Saskia sent a kilogram of Haribo Lacrylacker. Lacrylacker, you can see it says it there. And I would say there's about 300 grams of it left. <laughs> it was just so good. I'm gonna show some of these off now, just because. So it, it was sent at the perfect time because we got it on Friday. And Friday just so happened to be when the Elder Scrolls online beta started. So it was a real, Gaming gamer weekend for us where we sat around we decked the coffee and we also decked the licorice it Was terrible. I feel really bad, but really good at the same time just because this Has probably been the best pack of licorice. I've ever tasted now. I've had a little bit of Haribo licorice before specifically Now I'm gonna change the focus I can't autofocus because that just doesn't work. Specifically, these ones. That's too far. Hold on. Focus is not right. Let's test a bit more. Okay, so specifically these ones. These are the ones that I've had before. And they're really good. Really, really, really good. It's sort of just standard licorice rolled up. Then there's these, which I assume are like even more standard. It's just those tubes with a fill-in, but the fill-in on these just tastes a whole lot better. Then, there are these things, which are like jelly beans, but with licorice inside. Super, super good. Then, what I feel is probably the best in here, these little dummy things, or something. You know, if we had these for our wedding, I would have used something like this for the rings, but these things are nice. They're like a, a more solid type of jelly sweet, and they taste like licorice. Then, there are different shapes like this, and these are sort of bordering on being Zotadrop, but 
not really because they're a little bit softer and they taste more like licorice. Slightly sweeter, less salty, but they are salty licorice, but they've got a sweet tinge to them. Then, that's pretty much it. Those are the different types in here, and this was a kilogram. We put it on the scale, and we weighed it, and let me just tell you, again, the best licorice I have ever tasted. The best. You didn't need to see that. That's why I left it out of focus. You didn't want to see me beating down on the lid of the licorice container. <sighs> I'm sorry it happened. It happened. I'm guessing that this was meant to be included in that first paragraph. These are the Haribo Jelly Bears. I can focus on them quickly, because why not? There you go. These are the best jelly bear slash jelly baby type sweets out there. The best. And my wife tells me, Helene tells me, that when she was overseas, then these were treated as if they were like really cheap sweets. They were put on sale everywhere. They were costing like, she said a bag like this, which is 360 grams, was like a pound in Ireland. And I don't know how that's possible, because over here, a bag like this is just, like, gold. It is so valuable, because this stuff has to be imported specially. It doesn't come in in bulk. And I've never seen this container of licorice before. Never. Oh. Oh. Okay. Next. On to the next thing. Usually, when you picture Germans and beer, you'll probably think of those large beer glasses, glasses from Oktoberfest. Well, they're pretty common in Bavaria. Southeast, but here in Köln, the local Kolsch is served in these teeny tiny beer glasses. As you can see, we Germans are not as simple as one may believe. These are not teeny tiny, okay? These are pretty standard sized glasses. Now, I'm gonna focus again and hope this works. Tell me when it goes into focus. You long past it, Lumen. Go along past it. I think that's in focus. You can't really see, but the glasses have an image printed on them, and there's text on the back of them. But I'm about to open this, so I can actually show you the glasses up close and personal. It's wrapped beautifully, by the way. It's just a little bit bright here, so maybe if I close this, you can see a little bit better. Not really. I'm not going to turn the lights out. That's not happening. Here we go. Here we go. I'm opening it. Come on. <laughs> this is exciting. This is very exciting. Also, I'm not sure if it was your package that you sent, but someone tweeted at me and said that they were told something was broken in their package. I don't think anything was broken in this package, but... Someone had opened it. So that happened. But here we go. That's the glass. Now on the back here, there's writing. And that text is here on this page. And I'm going to go through it right now before I carry on with the letter. Because it's kind of linked. It's kind of linked. These two come together. Now, this is the unofficial but universally valid character or charter, oops, I'm bad at reading, of Colm. Number one. Et est, et es vi et es. Es ist, vi es ist. It is as it is. I'm telling you now that these people from Colm, they seem like easygoing, happy type people. I don't know if I'm right, but are the North Germans much happier? warmer people at heart because some of these are just really really deep in a good way it could wie it could es kommt wie es kommt it'll come as it is don't worry about it i'm not sure if i'm supposed to be reading all of it let me just show you this before i carry on because some of it's bolded and some isn't so let's just auto focus again that's how it's set up here and I'm just reading a lot of it. 
There you go. Number three. It had not immer so junge. I don't know how to say that last word. <laughs> but I can say, es ist immer noch gut gegangen. It always worked out before. Stuff like that. It always worked out before, so don't worry about it. It'll work out again. Number four. Wat fort is, is fort. Was fort ist, ist fort. What's gone is gone. Live with it. And stop complaining. Five. Nix blijf wie het war. Nix blijft. That's blijft. Such a strange word. So, nix blijft wie es war. Nothing stays as it was. Be open minded to the new and unknown. Six. Kenne mer niet brug mer niet. Fort Dome. Kennen wir nicht, brauchen wir nicht. Fort. Fort. Damn it. <laughs> it says damn it there. <laughs> but there's only one M, so it should flow a little more, I guess. Don't know it, don't need it, away with it. Okay. I'm not sure I agree with that one, but there you go. Wat welste mache? Was willst du machen? Okay, that I can say. What more can you do? This is done and you can't change anything. This is fascinating. Number eight. Mach dit jod aver nit ze of. Mach es gut aber nicht zu oft. Do it well, but not too often. Drink or party is good, but not too much. Okay, so these last bits. I'm thinking that Saskia here added them. So when I say something like, do it well, but not too often, that's what it says at number eight. And it was translated, or at least it means, drink or party is good, but not too much. Okay, I get it now. I didn't understand at first why there was two in the English part, but this is you babysitting me. Thank you. Wat soll da quatsch? Was soll der quatscht? What is it good for? <laughs> there you go. Ten. Trinkst du eine mit? Trinkst du einen mit? Do you want to have a drink together? That part I know, okay. Du lachst der kaputt. Da lachst du dich kaputt. Laugh till you drop. I love it. That was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Good practice. I should read through this often. And try and perfect it. And then get back to you once I have. So, where were we? By the way, the text on the glasses is the culture Grungetzt. The Köln Constitution. You'll find a translation attached. I just did. On we go with a Cologne or Echt Kölnisch Wasser. True water from Köln. The number 4711 is the street number of the original production facility. I guess a large part of German population associates the smell of it with their grandmothers. At least I do. You know, I put this on. I thought this was for men. <laughs> 4711 on the little bottle. Here we go. This is so much fun. Thank you. I'm enjoying this. It says there at the top, Echt Kölnisch Wasser. 4711. It's a beautiful little bottle, by the way. I put some of it on, and now I just read it's for grandmothers. I feel bad. I'll put some on again. I'm going out tonight. We're going to eat pizza. And I'll put some on, so I can spell like my grandmother. Thank you. Thank you. I know I'm not supposed to put it on like that, but you're, I don't know how to put it on, because I never, ever, ever wear anything but, like, underarm roll-ons or sprays. So I don't know, maybe it's supposed to go on my, on my wrists like this. Here we go. My grandmother's German and she doesn't smell like that. She's got a very specific smell as well, but it is also a very German smell. It's good. It's nice. It does make me, that smell makes me think of my grandmother. So, where were we? The strange part of cloth is actually 
a hat and combines two important things. Okay, the cloth. Here we go. I'm gonna open it now before I show it to you. So that we can just see it in all its glory. So this is a hat. And if I'm not mistaken, FC Köln is in fact the football club or the soccer club. I'm not sure what the Germans prefer when they speak English, football or soccer. There you go. I mean when they speak English. Oh, am I dropping something? So it's a hat. It uh, doesn't quite fit over my head, but I could wear it like that. <laughs> I've got a very big head, so if you ever send me a cap, it'll probably have to be a large. By the way, I have a thing for goats, especially the mountain goats, so this sits well with me. And you can see Koln, they really like the... And I feel really bad for not knowing what that is. But here you go. This... This building right here. Maybe it still says it down here. It might. Maybe we'll get to it. And we're gonna get to this as well. Don't even worry. But there's the cloth or the hat. When you live in Germany, you must pick a football club. There you go, football club to support. But make your decision wisely. If you pick the wrong one, you may make yourself a lot of enemies. In order to make your decision earlier, I've sent you this hat with a logo. <laughs> they may sometimes struggle with their results, but they have the best fans. To make your decision easier. You are drafting me as one of your fans already. You Germans. You Germans and your football. So. Also, they are one of the two clubs whose mascot are actual animals. Well, I would support one of those two. So there you go. The other real mascot. Oh wait, here we go. For Köln, it's a goat. Heisbock. Named Hennes the 7th. Reigning since 2008. Cool. Okay. The other real mascot is an eagle. Attila from Frankfurt. More important is the region around Köln. Um, is the rest of Germany uh, is the Carnival. People get really crazy about it. It starts on November the 11th at 11 11 a.m. and lasts until Ash Wednesday. This year on March the 5th. That's a really long festival. Oh my goodness. A lot of indoor events, proclamations of princes and princesses, which are always male, and the so called Sitzungen sessions, uh, where there's a mix of live music comedians and the German counterpart to cheerleading. Usually people go there in costumes, so it's quite common during this to have pirates, clowns, witches, and what more on the subway. Ha! Huh. That'll be fun. It really would be. On Weiber Fastnacht starts, I think I said that right, unless it's Weiser Fastnacht, starts the street carnival with the parades. The street carnival is really strange for outsiders because the whole cities of Köln, Bonn and Dusseldorf are in costumes. Many companies in these cities don't work during the days between February 27th and March the 4th. That's nice. That was just now, over the past couple of days, so I hope you enjoyed that. Of course, there's a tremendous amount of beer and schnapps involved. The hat is part of the traditional uniforms of the carnival associations. Then, we can look at this. These are some pictures of the cheerleaders, the carnival, the goat, a football fan wearing the hat, and that big church, cathedral type thing. There you go. Gonna go across to the sides, like that, so you can see it all. Very nice. <sighs> okay. Moving on. The dog treats don't have any meaning attached. I just want, didn't want the Nero puppy to feel left out. Dog treats. Unterwärts. Vorlich. These look so good. So good. I would even eat these, along with Nero. 
I'm saying I would, but I'm not going to. Because Nero deserves some treats himself. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now. Here we go. I thought about attaching the forms required to bring Nero to Germany slash the EU. But after an hour of research, I found out I would have to had to print some Bible of forms. <laughs> Just one thing. Start all the procedures with Nero. Veterinarian exam, vaccinations, microchip, at least four months before move-in. So, you'll be glad to know that we've already started. We got him microchipped. Already, he's wearing the little thing on his collar. He's got a little barcode now. It's kind of cool. And we are busy sorting his skin problems out. We're going to make an appointment very soon to make sure everything is in order to update all his books, I guess. His uh, little form that we've got that says when last he's been... For checkups and stuff. We're gonna make sure it's all ready and with it being the most important thing for us in the moving process, it will be done. Don't even worry. Nero is obviously in good hands. That's it. I'm done. I hope you, your lovely wife and Nero, enjoy my little package. I had a lot of fun putting it together. Best wishes, Saskia. Then your Twitter, if I'm not mistaken with this, and I'm actually going to Go and follow you on Twitter right now, because I want to make sure it's the right Twitter handle. Faladay, I typed that right, 3002. Our internet's really slow. World of Warcraft player, Brewmaster Monk on Bailgun EU. Haha, -ha, call Germany. This is definitely you. So... If you see me following you today, you know this is the day that I recorded the Lou Mailbox. Also, apparently the bad news was from you, Saskia, saying that there was a damaged item. No! No! None of these items are damaged. Unless by damaged item they me meant they opened the licorice and ate a couple of pieces. Maybe that means it was damaged. Fine, because this was actually open when we got it. Didn't stop us from eating it though. <laughs> but there you go. Thank you so, so much. This has been such an amazing experience for us. By this, I mean this. And the fact that I got to smell like a grandmother for a little while without knowing it. That was pretty great as well. And this list, on the back of the glass. It's great. This is great. I like you people. You people from Colm. <laughs> that sounds so bad, but it's good. I mean it in a good way. Also, I just realized that the glass is a little bit skinny. It's a little bit skinny, but this is the kind of glass I use for the most part anyway. I don't want a jug. I also don't want a shot glass. So that's perfect. And again, Saskia, thank you so much. Nero thanks you. My wife thanks you and curses you for the fact that you sent so many sweets. Mais ist, was ist ist. <laughs> there you go. Happy that. <laughs>